Chris Kowalczyk here for Around the Horns. Today I'm joined by Dave Gifford, the new men's soccer coach here at VCU. Dave, kind of talk to us about this year at Akron, 23-1-1, one one, reach a national title game. Pretty exciting stuff at Akron. You guys have been successful there before, but this, this year was special. No, it was a very special year. You know, we went 23-1-1. One one. We had 23 wins in a row, which tied the NCAA record for consecutive wins. Uh, it's just, it's been a great group of kids, great group of kids uh, from throughout the classes. We had one senior on the team, a couple of juniors, and the rest were freshmen, sophomores, and so those guys will be back. But it was, you know, it was just a very special year, very special year. I think the culmination really the last four years. Talk to us a little bit about the similarities between the two schools, both large public institutions, urban locations. Tell us why that works at Akron and how that could work here at VCU and, and, and just, you know, Two schools are very similar in that sense. In a lot of ways, they're very similar. And you know, I think the nice thing about our sport, about men's soccer, is that you can have a great soccer program, really any school that you'd like. If the school chooses to support it, if you, know, you have the ingredients there in place as a university, it's attractive to student athletes. And I think you know, both VCU and Akron are very attractive to students. And I think that's a big piece of uh, why you can be successful here, as well as the support within the department, within the community. And certainly there are a lot of good players here in the, the state of Virginia and around the area in the region. And, and so I think there, you know, there's a lot of similarities between what we were able to do at Akron and uh, some of the positives that were there and some of the positives that are here. There's a lot of nice facilities on campus. You're in a little bit more of an urban area, uh, more things for kids to do than just, you know, going to a college town necessarily. And so uh, there are a lot of great things, a lot of similarities. Now we know why Norwood Teague went out and brought you here, but it's a two-way street. There's obviously got to be things attractive about VCU that brought you here. Why VCU? Well, I think VCU is, uh, has been in the past a great program, a great team, and has the potential for the future to be very, very successful. And so, again, I, when I looked at the VCU and I met with Norwood and his staff and, and the people here, there's just a, there's a buzz, there's an excitement around campus, uh, there's an excitement around the region about VCU as an institution. And I think those pieces together really really gave you an opportunity to, to go somewhere where you, know, you can achieve and reach some of the same goals that I've had for the last, last several years, which are to, uh, to be very successful at the highest level. Dave, you've literally been in town days. And VCU hasn't made the NCAA tournament in four or five years. There's obviously some work to be done here. Where do you get started? How do these first few days go for you? Well, the first few days, uh, you know, getting the computer and the email address and those things and headed out to some club practices tonight. And so just trying to get a handle on every school is a little bit different. The setup of everything is a little bit different. Uh, obviously, players is one place that you start. The current players that we have, excited to spend some time with those guys. Uh, also, you know, new players that are already committed to come and, and some other ones that we're still working on adding. And so that's one piece. You know, the other piece is putting together a good staff. And so we're in the in the process of doing that as well. And uh, those are really the first couple days and then just all the, the office details and things like that, getting up and running. Yeah. Obviously recruiting, a big part of success. Everywhere I've read, talk about that you being a good recruiter. Pitch me on VCU, why should kids want to come here? Well, I, I think it's about the opportunity. It's about the opportunity to come somewhere and uh, you know, realize your potential as a student and as an athlete. And I think our soccer program will be an opportunity for a lot of young men to come and realize their goals and dreams and compete and be a part of a, a very, very special soccer place, it's a soccer tradition, a, a community that embraces the game and you know, be the first ones to come and, and be the one that wins the national championship. And so I think that's probably the, the direction and the goal that, uh, that everybody has. And that's certainly a piece of what we're going to be talking about here at VCU. And for VCU soccer fans, kind of give us an idea about what we're going to see on the field, style of play, that sort of thing. Everybody wants to know, you know, what's going to be our signature? Well, I think our signature is going to be a, a very attractive yet effective style of play. And so I think, you know, defending and attacking with equal intensity, um, helping to not only uh, play an attractive style, but to, like I said, be effective in it. And so I think our teams are going to defend well and uh, we're going to do our best to, to play the game the right way, put the ball on the ground, possess it, and, and create opportunities to dictate the game on, on both sides of the ball. And Akron, last two years, led the nation and goals against average. So that's, uh, that, that says a lot. <laughs> Dave, I want to thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, Chris. Thank you for having me. Uh, we wish you, wish you the best luck in the future. We're very excited. Sounds great. I'm excited as well. Take care. For Around the Horns, I'm Chris Kowalczyk.